Welcome to the Big Blue Workshop. This is a quick video just to show you a water balloon catapult I built. I actually ended up using bags of flour because we used it during the winter and didn't want to get the Indian guides wet at their nerf battle at Fort Richardson, Texas. Um, to get this thing built, I had to do a lot of trial and error. I started with a base and a stop bar and just kind of put the stop bar where I thought it should be and then I quickly built a test arm for it. Uh, when I put the arm on there it was about a four foot arm and when I pulled it and launched it it actually went a little short and didn't go high enough so I changed the length of the bar. I ended up just adding pieces until I got the length I wanted and I knew I could come back and uh, build an actual arm once I got the length right and got the stop bar correct. I used a hook on the end of the arm that released when a loop reached a certain point at the bottom of the base. Uh, that caused a problem because it was really hard to pull back and it was somewhat problematic. I, I was concerned that it'd be too weak and it might break. Um, so what I ended up doing was just creating a, uh, a release at the bottom so you had to cock it. This was a second iteration of the uh, launch pad. It, it had the longer arm on it, but it was just a solid 2x2. Two two. I realized that that broke real quick and I was going to have to laminate one. I cut a 2x2 two two into 8 inch strips and then laminated them all back together like you would with an archery bow. And that made for a stronger piece. Once I got that built, I realized I was going to need something that was more of an angle. Uh, to catch that bar so I just cut a 2x4 and put a 45 degree angle on it to actually catch the bar flat. The end result had about a six foot arm. I took a red solo cup, wrapped it in duct tape and this was the final unit that I ended up making four of. Uh, this is the first test launch with it. You can see it's got a very simple release mechanism on it now and um, it would launch that bag of flour probably about 40-50 uh, yards and uh, we found out it would break on concrete but not on a person. The Indian guides camp out where we used this was a uh, nerf gun battle so the kids had this big nerf gun battle first and you can see all the forts and all the obstacles that are there and in the background you'll see these catapults. We decided we'd have the nerf gun battle first and then we'd let the kids siege each other's forts with the catapults themselves. You'll see here in a minute that what happens is uh, the catapults and the nerf guns all get used in conjunction for the whole battle. This is the video of the actual battle that occurred. You'll see the little white balls flying through the air and the nerf darts flying. Um, the Okay, maybe this wasn't the safest experience, but nobody got hurt. Everybody had a good time. You can see the dads are into this. Eventually, people just start picking up the bags and throwing them. But uh, the boys just had an absolute ball doing this. All in all, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, the last little video is of my son launching one of these things. You can see right here, he just pounds one of the other forts and just had an absolute ball doing it. If you like this video, please subscribe and come back and see more. Have a great day.